Hi, welcome to another Cabin Life. I'm Glenn. I'm Maureen. And today we're continuing our discussion on mistakes to avoid when buying land and finding your dream property. Yeah, and if you haven't seen part one, check out this link here. Let's jump into the next point, Maureen. You know, when looking for properties, uh, you get to know the market. You get a feel for the uh, range of prices and for the size, the type of property that you're buying. And once in a while, you come across a deal. And it seems like a, a super deal. And uh, in fact, it, it almost seems like too good to be true. Yeah, but sometimes it's not. But you need to do your homework just to make sure. Like it could be a property that say is an estate sale and they just want to clear out the state and sell the property. So they put out a good price to move it on. On the other hand, there could be a super low price on that piece of property for uh, reasons unbeknownst to the buyer. Yeah, so do your research. Ask around. Ask people what's going on. Ask yourself, okay, what happened with the property? What was it used for before? What's, what's next door? What's the motivation for this person listing this piece of property at such a low, uh, a comparatively low price? Yeah, and you know, in some areas there could be um, like a stigma from the locals that they don't want to buy the property because it's down the road from the old tavern or something. But And this really opens up opportunities for people who are new to the area because they have a fresh new look at the property and they can take advantage of it and get a good deal. Yeah, as long as the property's not that one that's got the quagmire of methane gas boiling up underneath of it every once in a while or radon or something like that. Yeah, right? so you want to make sure what's under the property, what's on the land, what was on the land before. Do your homework. Avoid the surprises. And point number two is... Uh, stop yourself from buying on impulse. Be really careful if you just want to run out and put an offer on that property. Sometimes your emotions can get the better of you. Uh, you fall in love with the, the scenery or the, the look of the property, some feature, and uh, often that can uh, really play a big part in swaying you to uh, overlook a lot of uh, blemishes or flaws in the property and so forth. So, yeah, it's... Uh... Yeah, take a step back, take a breath, re-look at everything, and take a moment to review everything on the property to make sure that it really is something that you want. Another mistake to avoid is not knowing your access. Because there's a road to the property, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's legal access. And on the other hand, because the plan and the deed show that there's legal access to the property, doesn't necessarily mean that the road's been put in yet. So, big difference between legal access and physical access. You want to have both. Yeah, And if you don't have both, like say if you have legal access but the physical access it isn't in there yet, Again, you need to find out what the cost is going to be to put that road in. Or if there is physical access, but no legal right to use that access, find out what you need to do to get the legal access. And why hasn't there been access in the past? Is it something to do with environmental or other restrictions that come into play? Well, some property owners, what they do when they give right-of-way over their property, they give a verbal access or they give a right-of-way to the current owner, which ends when they sell it. So the person given the right-of-way knows who's going to be using the property. It kind of protects their right-of-way and their property from whoever's going to cross it next. Some people make the mistake of not knowing the property before they put an offer in. Like you should make sure that you walk the property lines with the realtor with a survey in hand so you know exactly what the outside perimeter of the property is and then you know what the property is that you're looking at. So get familiar with the property. If you can, try to revisit it uh, at different times of the day, different times of the year even, uh, although that's not always possible. The way that real estate tends to move these days, you may not have that uh, luxury of the you know the time in order to do that but whenever possible if you can spend more pro uh, more time on the property visiting it getting familiar with the little nooks and crannies the features the flaws as you spend more time on that property those features and flaws will reveal themselves and then you can make a more educated uh, estimate uh, on putting an offer in yeah and this could be the one time where you discover a gold mine or you realize that there's a disaster waiting to happen. So do your research, do your homework, and we have more points 
uh, that we're going to be making as time goes on. So check out the complete playlist on buying land and finding your dream property. That's all for this one. I'm Glenn. Hi, Maureen. We'll see you next time. Over and out. Take care.